Hi, welcome to another video in my series on solving second order linear differential equations, which equal some function of x. Now, in the first video in this series, I showed you that the general solution was always given by y equals the complementary function plus the particular integral, cf plus pi for short. And in this video, we're going to be looking at how we solve these equations when f of x is an exponential function, e to the 2x in this example. So we've got to find the general solution then to this equation here, d2y by dx squared plus 2 times dy dx minus 3y equals e to the power 2x. Given that the complementary function is ae to the minus 3x plus be to the power x. And if you're unsure how I got this complementary function, then all you need to do is just click on this link here and it will show you how I got it. Okay? Right, so we need to find a particular integral then for exponential functions. So if we've got the particular integral to find, pi for short, let's just underline that, then what we do is we say let y take on the form a constant, lambda say, e to whatever power we've got here. In this example, e to the power 2x. Okay, so if you had just e to the x there, lambda e to the x would be my particular integral. So, in the usual way, if you've been watching videos in this series, we work out what dy by dx is and what d2y by dx is. So dy by dx, if we differentiate this, is going to equal 2 lambda e to the power 2x. And if we do the second differential, d2y by dx squared, well that's going to equal 4 lambda e to the power 2x. Okay? Now, in the usual way, we just substitute these values into our original equation. Let's call it 1. All right. And if we do that, for this example, d2y by dx squared, well that's going to be 4 lambda e to the power 2x and then we've got 2 times dy by dx so that's going to give me 4 lambda e to the power 2x and then I've got minus 3y so minus 3 lambda e to the power 2x and this equals e to the power 2x now if we group up our terms on the left hand side here, we've got a total of 5 lambda e to the power 2x. And that's going to equal the e to the power 2x there on the right hand side. So you can see that 5 lambda must be equal to 1 if we just compare the co coefficients of e to the power 2x. So therefore lambda must be equal to one-fifth. Okay, so having got that, we're now in a position to say what our particular integral is. So a particular integral, for this equation anyway, is going to be lambda e to the 2x. Lambda's a fifth, so it's going to be one-fifth e to the power 2x. So therefore, when it comes to the general solution, the general solution is our complementary function, which is up here as ae to the power minus 3x plus be to the power x, and then plus our particular integral, plus 1 fifth e to the power 2x. Okay? So as usual, I hope this has given you some idea now on how we form the particular integral for exponential types. So I've got others in this series, if you haven't seen them already. Others where the particular integral is a constant, where it's a linear function, a quadratic function, 
and a trigonometric function. So if you haven't seen those and you need help on those, hopefully you can see links to those on my website, examsolutions.net. Okay?